Hi guys and gals, it's me Rob here from drumsaword.com bringing you another video drum lesson. Today I want to show you an absolute classic. I know I say that a lot but this really is. I've been avoiding this style of music for too long now because a uh, disclaimer here, I'm not the best reggae drummer in the world but today I want to try and show you how to play One Love by Bob Marley, drums by the legendary, incredible Carlton Barre or Barrett, I'm not sure how you pronounce his surname so forgive me on that. This is our basic reggae drum beat. If we ignore the bass drum on beat one and imagine that there's a hi-hat there instead, what we got across the hi-hat is we got this pattern playing accents on the ands of each beat. One, and two, and three, and four. I use this motion, this molar whip action to help me do that. You can see I'm playing the one, the down beats, one as these upstrokes and then the ands as louder accents hitting the rim of the uh, of the hi-hat with the shoulder of the stick to create a louder note. If you can't do this motion, then you do your best just to try and play normal eighth notes and perhaps throw in a few accented eighth notes. But it's important to get that upbeat feel. The other way you can do it is just to play the ands. One, and two, and three, and four, which you might find trickier or easier depending on what you've practiced in the past. Um, so you've got those two options, either play the eighth, eighth notes like this, one, and two, and three, and four, and, or just the ands, one, and two, and three, and four, and, we've got the cross stick falling down on beats two and four, one, and two, and three, and four, so you can see in between those accents on the hi-hat, we've got the cross stick, one, two, three, so don't let those upbeats put you off, they're the ands, not the downbeats, two, three, four, one, Two, three, four, one, two. And then a, class, a classic reggae style drum beat has this bass drum falling on beats two and four. It's the bass drum that really is the backbeat of, of the drum beat. Most of the time throughout this song, Carlton is playing the bass drum on beats two and four, falling with the cross stick on beats two and four in this case, but sometimes the cross stick moves around it, doing what the bass drum would do um, in a standard rock song. The bass drum does the variation, you know, the snare drum keeps a silly back beat. In reggae, it's really the bass drum. That keeps the steady beat, and the cross stick or the snare drum or the tom bits does all the variations. So it's completely reverse round. So again, we'll go back to that second bar. Imagine that bass drum on beat one is a hi-hat. We get one and two and three and three. Bass drum and cross stick coming down together on two and four. One and two and three and four. One and two and. And if you wanted to, you could play that drum beat all the way through the song and that would still sound pretty cool. Uh, and just probably some extra hi-hat notes or some extra little cross stick notes. If the drum fills we're playing in this are a little bit too complicated for you, then keep them simple and just go back to this drum beat all the time. One and two and and. And that'll work. That's very reggae sounding. Bar starts one and two and then we got the three and a four thing again without the at the end, this time it goes just across the on the and of four. So we get three and a four and three and a four and three, a four and that lovely little reggae feel. One and two and three, a four 
and uh, that's basically simple, so I can maintain this po motion over the top of it. Uh, one and two and three and a four and I want to come in there with bass on beat one. See what I mean about being unnatural to it? You naturally want to go boom, bass on beat one, but you don't. You come in with the hi hat first on its own. One and two and three and four and that lovely feel one. You hear that a lot in reggae music.